You are on the road with the Blues Heart Biker. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Blues Heart Biker channel. We are in Iowa today. Uh, we played a show in Kansas last night and uh, we're heading up to Iowa to do a show and we just happened to stop at a motel, went to check in, uh, couldn't check in for another hour. The motel just happens to be across the street from the National Motorcycle Museum. And they've got over 475 motorcycles generations of motorcycling history spanning over a hundred years and they got 475 motorcycles on display here so we are excited about going in and looking at these things looks like they've got a lot of different stuff a lot of motorcycles a lot of stuff that has to do with motorcycles and this is it and uh, there's the fellas in the band up there and we're all pretty excited about going in to check this out so anyways, let's go on in and see what's happening. But before you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me the thumbs up. Let me know you like what I'm doing. Hit the little bell. The bell's going to let you know whenever I upload new content every Tuesday, every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. So anyways, let's go check out the National Motorcycle Museum here in Anamosa, Iowa. All right, let's do it. So as soon as you walk in here... They got beautiful stuff in here, you know. They, they're giving away this panhead here. And uh, very cool little custom panhead. Donated and a chance to win. We're gonna be, um, they're going to be raffling this thing off December 22nd. Or December 30th, 2022. But uh, anyways, as soon as you walk in, you see something beautiful like this. And this beautiful WLB here. Look at this thing. Just fantastic. Somebody customized this dude. I love it. Look at that. This bike belonged to JP. It's fantastic. So this is the kind of stuff you see as soon as you walk into the place. So let's go. Uh, let's go get to the heart of the matter here and uh, get down to the, the nitty gritty and look at some real stuff. All right. All right. So we're going to walk into the main portion of the building here, and of course, no motorcycle museum is complete without a little homage to Evil Knievel. So this is one of Evil Knievel's jump bikes right here. It is? Yes. Ooh. Which jump? I'm not sure, but it says right here, this is Evil Knievel's Harley Davidson Alloy XR750 jump bike. Wow. So this is Evil Knievel's, one of Evil Knievel's jump bikes. Here. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you walk in, there's a 1936 Norton here. And just tons of memorabilia on the walls. This place is amazing. They've already got a live wire in here. <laughs> there's a Von Dutch Triumph. This is all the custom stuff here, huh? There you go. Wrap pink. Let me take your picture. Okay, go on. <laughs> okay, so. No, I, I kind of like this. Yeah. Here's the Easy Rider bikes on loan to the museum. 
These are okay. These are replicas. Of course, they're replicas. Of course, they're replicas. But but that's how they looked. You were riding the Easy Rider bikes. This is well how they'd be. Pretty cool. Just got everything at this place. This is an interesting little thing. It's an uh, Allstate Compact scooter. Seven Salisbury. Look at this thing. This thing is streamlined. That is wild. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is the road dog, the Galeev road dog. This thing is gigantic. Looks like it's got a little four cylinder motor in it. This thing is just a big old massive thing. And that's it right here. This is the guy that built it. Okay, this guy built this bike and he just put it together without any kind of plans or anything. He just started welding stuff together. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's not a Ford. It's a 1942 car. It is certainly going to be an interesting project. In my younger days, I love the hill climbing method. That's where my career was. 152 cubic inch, four cylinder engine. Doesn't say what kind of engine it is, though. This thing weighs 3,000 pounds. Holy moly, look at that. Amazing. Okay, I love this right here. I think that this is really cool. This is folk art here. Look at the lights, look at this thing. Wow, how cool is that?
Here's some more old Survivor bikes. Oh, oh the piston splitters. Piston splitters from Elm Grove. I thought that was a cool motorcycle club to be in. Wow. Just a whole line of beautiful knuckleheads. like a brand new bike. Yeah, beautiful. This too, this is just beautiful, stunning. Flying Merkel. All original. Wow. Wow. That is a rare beast right there. That's all I can say is, wow, this place is something else. I mean, everywhere you turn, there's something crazy in here. And uh, I like the way it's kind of set up, you know, it's not set up in, you know, it's set up in a little bit of an order, but it's a little out of orderly. And it's, it's like, you know, the, you turn and you look and there's something really interesting. Like there's a bunch of hill climbing bikes here. And then there's some outboard motors right there. And then there's some flat trackers here and some choppers over here. 
and then more vintage old bikes over there and then there's just an XL8 Sportster sitting right there on its own it's just you know pretty dang cool Now this is pretty cool here. This is an Indian chopper owned by Steve McQueen. Look at this thing. Seats made of cloth, like like an army shirt cloth, something like that. Wow, the canvas. How cool is that? What is that? Pretty
This is an original paint version of the Whitley of Coventry motorcycle from 1902 and it's the only one known to be in existence. Wow. Indian. Wow, sure came a long way. Here's some biker jackets. The Hills Outcasts. Motorcycle Club. St. Paul, Minnesota. Look at this. This is like folk art. This is beautiful. The Hawkeye MC. Some, some rare stuff right here. Look at this Henderson. It looks like it come off the showroom floor. Look at this little four-cylinder motor. It's all chrome. Wow. There's your brakes. Wow. 
Watch your brakes there. Oh, wow. 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 Scott Flying Squirrel. Oh, wow. All I can say is, wow, this is really something. This is the National Motorcycle Museum in uh, in Iowa, and it is, oh man, look. I mean, everywhere you turn, you got like something like this, okay? Look at this, look at this. An Excelsior, and a Thor over there. And you turn over there, there's a Vincent race bike right there. And you turn over here, and here's some great big crazy home built thing 1935 Plymouth Monster. It's got a Plymouth engine in it. Just everywhere you turn, there's something just fantastic. Everywhere. It's just everywhere you look. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable.